time for the lightning round. Welcome back. The Queen breaks with royal protocol and gives First Lady Michelle Obama a hug. Do sisters make for happier families and get ready for the stars to come out in St. Pete for the fourth annual Sunscreen Film Festival. And even though Mark Wilson can't be here tonight, we do have a Wilson in the house. We do. I'm number one now. Remember Mr. that. Mr. Paul He's Wilson. number two, and then the other guy who likes to do skits would be. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, we won't tell Mark that. Okay. Right. So Wilson Just between meeting. us. Right. Just he could be the us. best looking of the, of the oh, three. Yeah. Well, he's got the most talent. Look at the look at look at clothes. I, I love the I, look. Your brother's yeah. never wearing something like that. No, trust me. My checkbook isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about this film festival. The Sunscreen Film Festival in its fourth year. Um, really, this year is exciting because we're at Baywalk. So we've got movie screens. And we, uh, yeah, it's last year, we're, you know, it's, it's a little nascent little beginnings, but we've got um, some guy named Patrick Wilson is coming. Hmm. What do you, you know that is? Yeah. Um, Michael Rooker, uh, Days of Thunder. Right. And uh, Bill Cobbs, veteran actor, and so we're casting for a movie. You can only be in this movie, potentially, if you go to the acting workshop at the at the festival. So we got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Your very own like idol in the making. Yeah, that's sort right. Of out there. That's right. Okay, cool. Very yeah. cool. So there's a chance wonder, for like, you, Chip. Yeah, there yeah, <laughs> very small chance. Yeah. Then when you go to something like, like like a screening or a movie and you're in the business, do they watch the movies like we watch television? I mean, do they sit there and, you know, what's the what's the atmosphere in there like? Well, with the pros? Yeah. Well, they, they you, it's protocol not to get up until the credits are done. Right. Because then you see your friends. Right. You know? Oh, yes. So that's yes. the one big change. But there's a lot of fun. I mean, they're just like us. Right. Yeah. Um, and it's great to have something like that in this area, too. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, Paul, we, you, we know you're one of three brothers, right? Right. There's a new study <clears throat> that finds that sisters make for happier, more open families, while brothers have the opposite effect. So, of course, you have to put you on the spot and say, what do you think of that? I'm, I'm the sensitive one, anyway. <laughs> So, I mean, I definitely <laughs> heard the, that, yeah. the emotional <laughs> tempo in the house. <laughs> so I don't know. You know, I mean, I have two sisters and a brother. And right. I have to say that my sister, one of them, is the peacemaker in the family. Really? And how about you? Do you have... I've got a brother, actually, and I, we're both really tight. I mean, he's like a best friend to me. We do all kinds of stuff together. Our kids play together. Luckily, he moved down here. So... I don't know if I'd want a sister. I mean, I'm not against any <laughs> yeah. sister, but I've had a good time growing up with her, just an, like you probably did with Mark. Absolutely. You know? yeah. I'm an only child, so I'm looking for, for anything. You've got, all <laughs> you got, the you got the card to decide. Only, I'm the only Italian only child in, in, the, in the country. I mean, it doesn't happen too often. Well, that does not happen very, very often, often, actually. Some, yeah. I'm, I want attention, you know. Right. I'm spoiled. The, 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 list, the list is long. You always want to be on TV, so right. you should yeah, that. Okay, but i got to tell you, sisters, they're, they're the bomb. They all are. Right. Okay, the Obamas, you may have seen it, just met the Queen of England for the first time and now we're hearing there was a little break in royal protocol when the queen kind of put her arm around the first lady and then michelle obama gave her a little hug and what the palace is calling a mutual and spontaneous display of affection so what do you think i don't think we have that on video by the way i think it happened after the cameras it left. could have been that it could, right, it could have been that, the you know, mom, which huh? may have been misinterpreted. Um, <laughs> but no, it's cool. You know, everyone needs a hug. Yeah. I like how they have to define hug in the royal palace after, like a cool and spontaneous display of affection. Like nobody knew what a hug course, was until course, the queen defined it. Oh, thank you very much. And, and what is the definition of going, going too far? I mean, right. if, you, if you hold hands and only if the tips of your fingers are touching, right, I mean, right. what actually You're not is the limit? To touch the queen's person. So, <laughs> hey, what's coming up in sports for you go? Got Raheem Morris wrapping up three days of minicamp. See whether he likes it or not okay nice. and the film festival Wilson media TV uh, sunscreen film festival .com. There you uh, go. thanks for my little okay uh, plug you can there. find out in both places and we'll be right back Raheem Morris gives us his wrap-up and mini camp next